Hi, it's Mr. Cave from Boys Valley Humboldt again, and this week, our student of the week that got chosen to check in with me was Miss Mia Doyle out of third grade this year, and she was nominated last week by Miss Hutzel for saying that she said that she consistently supports the community by coming to class prepared, sharing her thinking, and staying calm and focused. So, Mia, my first question to you is, how, how do you stay calm and focused? Do you have any strategies for staying calm and focused in your classes? Sometimes while I'm doing um, on my meeting, sometimes listen to like, like really like mellow music to keep me calm. And usually, yeah. And I, I at recess, I get a lot of energy out. Nice. What kind of things do you do to get energy out? I usually sometimes go in my backyard and then just run around a lot. Nice. Well, I like that. So you said two things. I noticed that you said when it's recess time, you get lots of energy out, which is the right time to do that, right? And then I noticed that you said when it's time to focus that you get yourself ready by listening to some calm music. I like that. Those are some very good strategies and kind of shows how you can help kind of be in control of your body and your emotions, right? Nice. And then I was wondering, too, because I know that uh, some of the people that are at Boyce Elliott Humboldt this year, since we're all remotely, uh, we are all on computers, some of them have actually never been in our building before. Like some of our kindergartners that just started and also some students that might have moved into our uh, neighborhood and started here. Um, so could you remind them, because I know you've been here for a few years and I know you've been a badger many times. So my question is, can you remind them of what our three core values are at Boyce Elliott Humboldt? Perseverance, community, and integrity. Nice job. And so what this sounds like when I, I heard Miss uh, Hutzel nominate you last week, she could have nominated you for any of those three core values because it was kind of a week where the teachers could pick any of them. And last week she nominated you for something that sounded kind of like community, supporting your community. And this week is community again. So it actually lines up pretty nicely for that. Um, when we think about community, can you think of what does it mean to show community at Boy Selling and Humboldt. So like when people get a math problem wrong, you don't go like, oh, it was this. You like, you're like, you'll get it next time. Nice, so you encourage your friends, right? Instead of maybe making them feel like making a mistake was a bad thing, right? And that actually, you just helped me remember something else, Mia. You remember when we used to talk about when we had assemblies oh, almost every week, we would talk about growth mindset. You remember that? And when we would talk about like, if we make mistakes, are mistakes a bad thing? No. No, what, what's good about mistakes? They help you learn. If, we, if, I, if I didn't make any mistakes all day, that probably means I wasn't doing anything hard for me, right? I wasn't probably actually growing and getting any better at anything. And so your example was perfect because when people make mistakes, what we want to do is remind them that that's okay. That's how we learn, right? So just keep trying, never give up. Which, what does that sound like? Keep trying, never give up. What, what core value does that sound like? Perseverance. They connect. So it's interesting to think how those core values kind of connect to each other and build, right? So if you were to meet, let's say when we came back or if we get to come back here sometime this year, if we came back into the school and somebody came up to you as a new student and they said, they asked you, what's it like to go to Boyce Elliott Humboldt? Um, what's your favorite thing? Is there anything you'd tell them? I'd probably tell them. I tell them that I like how the teachers are really nice and how even if they're like at different levels, like if some person's not as good at solving math problems as other people, they help those people too. So one of the things you like is that the teachers are friendly and that they also help everybody no matter where they're at? And that reminds me of one more question. Do you think that, is, every, is, is any one person good at everything? No. No. But does everybody have things they're good at? Yeah. And does everybody have things they're working on? Yeah. What about adults? Mm-hmm. They do too, huh? 
Yeah. That's, some, that's something to know is even when we're students and we're like in, in elementary school and middle school and high school, we have things we're working on. But even once we become adults and even our parents still have things they're working on, huh? And trying to get better at. So, well, thank you so much, Mia. Did you have anything else you wanted to share with Boy Celia Humble before we, we close up today? Well, thank you so much. And thank you for always being such a great example for all of our students. Well, it was amazing to check in with Mia. It's always so fun to be able to have a chance to just connect with some of our students each week, especially when it's one-on-one -on -one and being able to kind of just talk and see what they've been up to. So thank you, Mia, for taking the time again for uh, interviewing with me. And remember, if you ever get nominated for one of the, or when you get nominated for one of the student of the weeks each week, I'm gonna read all the nominees. And at the end of the week, I'm gonna pull out one of them to be interviewed for the next week on our on this video each week. So I just wanna give that a heads up. And so this week we're focusing on community. And I believe this week we were focusing specifically on the using your words tool. And so with community, we have several nominees this week. So in pre-K, Mama Malika nominated Travis Nall. She said, Travis is practicing using his words, his big voice, when something he feels has been done wrong to him. Nice work, Travis, and welcome to Boy Celia Humble. And in kindergarten, Mr. John nominated Delilah Whiteley. She said, Delilah is always present in class and thinks of others when asking questions. And then another kindergartner in Miss Ellie's class was Maggie Harrison. She said, Maggie is a leader in the class. She attends all classes and participates in all discussions. Maggie does all of her Lexia, Seesaw, and Math Shelf lessons and is above grade level in all her academic areas at this time. She is very accepting of others and is very patient while she waits her turn. Maggie has a very positive attitude and a great smile. Then our third or our third kindergarten nominee is from Miss Kelly's class, and it's Miss Egypt Brown. She said, Egypt always comes to class meetings with a positive attitude. She participates in whole group class discussions. She greets others in small group and is helpful to others when she notices that they need help. And Egypt will let Miss Kelly know when she's frozen or when Miss Kelly is frozen or glitching, and she always appreciated that. She said, thank you, Egypt, for being such a kind friend and using the right words in the right way at the right time and for the right reasons. And our last kindergarten nominee comes from Mr. Smith, and that's Mr. Logan Tangeman. Logan always eager to participate and loves getting together with classmates. So nice work to all those kindergartners. And also, again, welcome to Boy Celia Humboldt. It's amazing to have all of you joining us this year. So now we're gonna go on to first grade. Miss Lauren nominated Tyson Jackson. She said, Tyson is friendly and welcoming to everyone. He is excited to share his news with friends and teachers, as well as asking his friends how they are and what they are up to. And our next one is from Miss Casey and it's Ellen Russo. She said, Ellen is a positive, friendly presence in our community. She uses her words and silence when necessary to provide kindness and encouragement to her classmates and teachers. And then from Miss Sheila, she nominated Miss Melissa Mulva. She said, Melissa regularly has kind words for her classmates and teachers. Her positive attitude is a wonderful part of our community. Nice job, first graders. Going on to second grade, we had Miss Cachado nominated Kamari Hayes. She said, Kamari is always positive in class and has kind and helpful words for his teachers and peers. He loves to share what he has been doing and generate, generates genuine conversation in the classroom. And Ms. Peters nominated Isabel. She said, Isabel demonstrates community, uh, the, the community core value in each and every morning meeting. Nice work, second graders. In third grade, Ms. Porter nominated Ms. Jabria Partlow. She said, Jabria is very outspoken and she asks questions or makes comments that bridge discussion and conversation. And then uh, Ms. Hutzel nominated Major Miller. She said, Major comes to class meetings ready to participate and build others up. He is almost always the first to say a positive word to a student in need of support. Nice work, Jabria and Major. 
Uh, moving on to fourth grade, Ms. Miles Gonzalez nominated Iris. She said, Iris shows respect to her classmates and uses words that are considerate of others. She helps lead the community building with her word puzzles. And then in Ms. Blanton's class, she nominated Maria. She said, Maria is always willing to get to know others. She asks questions and listens to what others have to say. She is a caring and supportive community member. Nice work, fourth graders. Going on to fifth grade. In fifth grade, Mr. Swatala nominated Sawyer Schultz. He said, Sawyer always shows concern for others, speaks out for how he feels, and is always a good communicator in class. And then Mr. Skye nominated Afia Otu. He said, Afia is so positive and patient. She is very thoughtful and considerate towards the process of having to take turns with online learning. She is so respectful to the needs of others and often lets others go before her when she feels their needs may be greater. She consistently displays the values of someone who we would all want as part of our close community. Nice work, fifth graders. And then in art, Ms. Larkin Miller had a nominee. She wanted to nominate Sanaya Alexis. She said, Sanaya made a guest appearance in her brother's art submission video and was an amazing support to him as he was stretching himself to complete the art assignment this week. And I happened to actually check out Seesaw and see that same video. And you know, there are many of us that are at home, not just ourselves having to do online learning, but our brothers and sisters and sometimes cousins are there too doing that work in our same house. And it was so amazing to see as her little brother was having a little bit, needing a little bit of help for her to just immediately offer that support and be a positive presence in helping him get his work done too. So I know a lot of you are doing that too for your siblings. So please keep that up. So thank you so much to all the nominees this week. Remember, we had no live classes, no school next week, but you can always be on doing some Lexia, some Dreambox if you want to get some of that done or participating in any other work that might be already be on Seesaw. Have a great weekend and week off next week, and I'll see you all soon.